Hello Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio water signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what does your person on your mind feel about you right now. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 2nd of May 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 1.03 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, the person on your mind right now. How do they feel about them? Full in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and the person on your mind right now. They feel like everything is super quiet, right? The high priestess, um, both of you not talking to each other. Two of swords could be an indication of a block communication. Ace of swords, they feel like you have cut them off or they have cut you off. Um, it's like a very, it's like someone refuses to speak someone has made this decision right like i don't want to speak anymore nine of cups in one verse because i'm dissatisfied about a situation uh, about this situation right it looks like this is someone you have some issues with currently the world here is in one verse they feel kind of stuck um and they've been paying attention to details eight of pentacles a person could be the person on your mind could be feeling like what, like looking into details, like what did I do wrong? Uh, what have I done? Or, you know, why? It's it's almost like, why did you block them? Or why did you stop talking to them? Or, why, or what had happened to this connection, right? Because at one point in time, maybe the Nut of Cups was in an upright position. Maybe it was like, okay, everything was fine. And then now it's like, both of you don't even speak to each other anymore. Ace of Wands in reverse. They feel rejected by you. They feel like you don't like them anymore. You're not passionate about them anymore. High Priestess. They feel like you're just keeping quiet, keeping to yourself, keeping all the secrets, um, or giving them silent treatment, right? The strength here is in reverse. They feel like, you know, maybe there's nothing they can do about this. And this is also an energy of like, maybe I should just give up. They also could be feeling a bit afraid to reach out to you um, or lack of courage to reach out to you, to open up communication with you. Got the King of Cups here. They feel like you're actually, you know, like a good person, you're kind. Um, they also could be feeling as though you can be a little bit sensitive, right? But the King of Cups, it could also be them. They could also be embodying the King of Cups. So they do care about you. Um, they feel for you, they care about you, or that they love you. But this is why the Eight of Pentacles is right next to King Cups. They spend a lot of time like analyzing, looking at the details, like thinking back on to like thinking thinking back to what had happened, like all the nitty gritty of stuff, words that have been said. So hmm. Because maybe they need clarity with Ace of Swords. They need to know what they have done wrong. Why did this connection turn out to be like such where both of you don't even speak with each other anymore at all? Like what has happened, right? <laughs> like it was good at one point in time. And then somebody possibly could have made a mistake here with the full in verse, right? But let's see more. They could be feeling foolish for something that they've said or that they could be feeling whatever you've said to them or done was foolish. And it could go vice versa. They do think a lot about you, right? With the Nine of Swords here. Sometimes they can't even sleep at night thinking about what had happened between the two of you. King of Wands and Love versus person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Yeah, they definitely feel foolish, unless it's you, unless it's vice versa here. The Wolf Fortune here is in one verse, so they feel like this has 
um, this is going on and on and on in your head. It hasn't stopped. I feel okay. Whenever you are thinking about this person, they could also be thinking about you at the same time because the two of swords. It feels like it goes both ways. Hmm. And they're stuck. They still haven't moved on from this issue or this connection, this situation. Nine of Wands here is in reverse. Got the Queen of Cups. See, the King and the Queen are together uh, in an upright position, but not looking at each other. So it does feel like maybe both of you do care about each other. They could be feeling like, yeah, I care about Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, but this has happened. Somebody made a foolish mistake here with the Fool in reverse. The Nine of Wands in reverse. There's this energy of like, maybe you've already given up. Or maybe they should give up completely, right? So this energy where it's like, okay, there's nothing I can do about this right now. Just let it be. They feel dissatisfied with the outcome of this connection, of this situation. Um, they feel like, again, it's they're totally helpless. There's this very helpless energy that they feel like both of you may not... Um, see eye to eye may not agree on things because the two swords one is pointing towards the left and then another is pointing towards the right so one wants to go left another wants to go right so it feels it feels like a conflict in some way shape or form okay hmm. they feel like your silence may be an indication that you have given up on this connection and that you are done but they could be hoping that it's that's not the case. And Eight of Pentacles also can indicate they could be working on themselves right now, um, focusing on their work and trying not to think too much about you. But they still do think a lot about you. They do keep themselves busy or that they could be feeling that, you know, are you busy? Maybe you could be busy, okay? You haven't reached out to this person yet or replied to the messages. They could be feeling as though, yeah, maybe you're busy, right? <laughs> That's just for some of you who are, you know, if this is not such a big issue, if the communication is just temporarily on pause. But for a lot of you, I feel this is a connection where both of you just don't see eye to eye anymore. Yeah. But both of you still do care in some way, shape or form. Okay. We've got the lovers here. Yeah, they do love you. They do care about you. But the lovers indicates choice. Two of wands can indicate choice as well. They could be now feeling conflicted about a choice that they have made. Could be choice of words or or actions. Ten of cups in reverse. You're not happy with this person right now. There is a separation. There's trouble in paradise. It could be related to the future. It could be related to uh, family or children. It could be anything. But I definitely see there is this energy where the person in your mind is stressing out because things are not the same anymore between the two of you. Um, they do wonder, two of wands here, see one, two, three cards that indicates a choice. They wonder if they could have done things differently, said things differently, or if you could have done things differently or said things differently. They wonder if you would ever reach out to them, Ace of Swords, and tell them the truth. There's something about them feeling as though you should tell them the truth in regards of what's going on or what has happened between the two of you. Overall, they feel like you are somebody, um, Eight of Pentacles, yeah, you're kind, you're genuine, you maybe have put a lot of work into this connection at one point in time, um, but then Ace of Swords, someone decided to cut the other person off because of two swords here, either because of indecision or because someone is just not happy. Nine of Cups in my first, right? Six of Pentacles in my first. They feel like this connection is just not an equal give and take, like one person could be giving more than the other. And they also feel like you are not invested in this connection anymore. Hmm. All right, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you would like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Vlogs. That's my travel channel. I just posted a latest short uh, on 
on why I like to do things alone in Bali. <laughs> I'm in Bali right now. And I do like to do things alone in Bali. Um, oh, check it out if you want to. Yep, just click on my second channel. It's on the screen right now. Take you straight to my second channel. You can look for the latest shorts that I posted. And um, yeah, and what else? Uh, yeah, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you would like to be notified every time when I post your videos. But also, don't forget to customize it so that, you know, um, so that I won't bother you because I post very often, very often, very uh, regularly, a few times a day. So I don't want to disturb anybody or annoy anybody. But you can, you can um, customize it accordingly, accordingly, okay? You can mute it or you can, I think you can do something about it. <laughs> Check it out if you want to. Yeah. Um, take care. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.